I now invite Dr. Samar Basak to present his talk on DVEC after five years. So, uh, and this is without keratoplasty procedure. So, we call it uh, desmet stripping without endothelial keratoplasty. I'll be showing some of my initial cases and my thoughts about this procedure. It is also called DSO. So, Fuchs dystrophy, the treatment is from medicine to surgery to cell therapy. If you see that 55% DSEC, 36% DMEC, and many, pe many people across the world also do PK in these cases. But the pathogenesis still remains unclear even after 110 years. So, this is just the routine procedure in one eye DSEC and other eye DMEC and the results are gratifying and we know that. And the results after say uh, 11 years or 8 years, the endothelial cell counts are also looking so good that you always enjoy this kind of surgery. So this technique was de described almost 8-9 years back. So can we go without, especially with Fuchs dystrophy and send, there are several reports in the literature and it works some of the cases of Fuchs dystrophy. So this type of case is very important, central type of Fuchs dystrophy, so you need to see and select the case very nicely. There are several case reports, in some hands it works nicely, some of it didn't work well and failure rate is almost 100% in some of the cases. So how does it work? Nobody actually knows, but normally it is feels that DMEC, oh, when we do a, a DM defect, it, so cell migration happens and it covers the area so that it is a, I have done only five cases. One of the patient actually lost after my procedure and never come back. So I'll be showing the four on a timeline basis. The patient selection, as I said, very important, central Fuchs dystrophy focal central edema, clear periphery, the uh, peripheral count must be more than 1500 and the patient's symptom is intolerable glare reduction of visual acuity, it may be phakic or pseudophakic, may be combined with phaco surgery, otherwise he or she be, will be a very good candidate for future DMEC. So this is the case you see in the left hand side photograph, the central image of the two. Uh, specular and in the left eye I have already done DMEC and this patient, this eye is doing, when I took the right eye, I took several other photographs from peripheral area, paracentral zone and if you see this kind of cells in the paracentral area, so you can choose this patient. So surgery is very simple and you see that it takes only maybe one or two minutes, so after doing FACO, you just give a marking of 4 millimeter zone, do a, use your reverse Sinsky hook to make a uh, line and then use the, that Rexis, you, either you can use Rexis, give only steroid in this, so for few days only, no need of steroid for a longer period of time. So this is my first patient, right eye DMAC done, left eye, so this is pseudophaki corneal edema, you see that day one, it is ugly look, but at one month, the look is very good. Uh, ASOCT also showing very good progression. Cell count, okay, you may, it is good, but it, this is after three months. You see the retro, the clear area is visible. And this is after four years, in between COVID happens and this some of the patient lost, but there is no question of steroid in this patient. So this patient in the right eye, you see that third year, the patient right eye doing good, that is DMEC done, but left eye, the cell is such a big cells in the center. But four years, he developed, he developed edema, then I had to go to DMEC and this DMEC last right lower four pictures actually after six months of doing DMEC and this patient is doing good after DMEC. This is my first patient. This is my second patient, again central Fuchs. You see the clear central edema and so on I, I did DMEC in uh, 17 and I took FECO with DUEC 
And if you see the chronological appearance of the cornea, day one, day seven, month one, month two, month six, month nine, the cornea is getting clearer and clearer and the patient is very happy because he has, she has not to put any drops in that eye. Then this is the right eye, the left eye, again after one year, the pecky in the both eyes are same, 6-6 six, six vision in both the eyes. And if you see the retro, the things are going good. This is the typical desmotorexis area. But after 15 months, she started developing edema. And you could see that Pecky was 584. And I started, this is I borrowed from Japan, and uh, this rokinus inhibition given her for two months. And on by three months, this cornea Lady Magos and uh, the Visha, uh, the Pecky was 532, but this is the cell count, and probably we are, you will not like the cell appearance in the le left eye of the patient. So this patient, after two and a half years, again developed cornea edema, and I need to go for DMAC procedure. This is the third DUEC. 18, again 18, FECO with the DUEC, and this patient never cleared within three months. So he was sitting on my head and do something, do something, and I did DMAC in this patient. This is my fourth DUEC, and again, one eye DMAC, another eye DUEC, this in this case right eye. And if you see that that rexis was not that regular patient, it was done under topical and patient was little, I mean, there is little irregular. And if you see the ASOCT, there is a distinct gap in the central part of the DM. And this patient, after five years, 5.6 years, and other eye is DMAC. So after five and a half years, the cornea is good, vision 6.6, six, but the cell line is not doing good. So outcomes, one patient lost, I said that, but only one patient is doing fine after five years. And probably that will also go after maybe six months or one year or so. One in interesting findings, if you see the picture of six months and 12 months retro elimination, there is reappearance of gut tata in this central area where I have done desmetorexis. This is the other patient, so Gattata is appearing in the center, where I have removed the whole DM endothelial complex. And if you see, this is the distinctly, you can see that central area, the, after 18 months, the Gattata appearance in the retro elimination. This is also the last patient, fourth DA. This patient was going good, but you could see that there are certain uh, folds and other things are appearing. So if you see the ASOCT picture in the central part, there is appearance of something uh, elevated area. This patient is actually doing good and you see that central part only the monolayer is there of endothelium. So if you see my previous one, this, this is good. So you always like this kind of picture but after one and a half months to two years, uh, one and a half years to two years, you do not like this kind of cell compared to I showed you earlier down the line 11 years or eight years your DSEC or DMEC, your patients are doing good. <coughs> so there are certain reports of long term results, there are certain reports of recurrence of gut data and endothelial dysfunction after successful DSO only. And so FECD, if you consider the pathogen pathogenesis, so it is actually the chicken or egg formula kind of thing, whether it is a DM disease or it is a endothelial disease, still there are some questions. There are also some question about peripheral mature kind of cells. Those are actually contributing towards that. So at this point, basic question comes to mind, what is the pathogenesis of Fuchs? Is it a DM disease or endothelial disease? What actually gut data are? Excretions of DM or deposition of RER or other substance, a diseased endothelium? Because if you see the 
genesis, the genetic factor and environment factor both plays in case of FECD. So, DUAC is it really helpful in Fuchs? Probably no. Possibly it can delay the DMAC procedure for one to five years. Thank you very much for your patience, Siri.